Hi, I'm Radiance. Join me on a journey to bring you enticing recipes where every video is a celebration of deliciousness, creativity, simplicity, and foodie inspiration. Today I'm going to be bringing you a dish that is actually well loved and liked by vegans or plant-based eaters and carnivores and meat eaters alike. It's like for everyone, pretty much. Um, and I'm saying this because I actually tested it out. So, true story. Um, I, many years ago, lived in New York and I actually um, was having like this little get together and a bunch of my friends were coming over and they were bringing friends. And, you know, they know me as the person that's gonna bring some good food and or have some good food. And a bunch of stuff is already being part. So I ended up, um, making this tish and at the time it was new to me um but i tried it i loved it and i figured everybody else would like it and i made it as just kind of a dip or like a side dish that people could dip chips in um and it's called a black bean quinoa mix um i make black bean quinoa tacos out of it that's what i call the dish um but you can make it as a taco mixture you can actually use it as a dip um a stuffing <laughs> and so here is my black bean quinoa I call it my taco mix or black bean quinoa mix, all right? So, oh, and by the way, before I forget to mention, tell you what's in it, um, the reason why I say it's well liked by everyone is because, you know, at the end of this party, you know, I think I tried it once, I went back and it was gone, it was completely gone. And later on, you know, there was talk about it and ask about it. And these were my hardcore carnivores and people that ate a lot of meat that loved the dish you know, um, and really, really requested it. So that's why I said it's well loved and like, and I hope you like it as well. So I'm gonna share that with you today. In it, it's pretty simple. Um, you're gonna have red onion. You can use any onion, but I'm gonna use red onion today. Fresh garlic clove, I'm just doing a few. Some cumin, tomato paste, a little, little oil for cooking. Can of black beans. You can use fresh beans if you want to. I love fresh, but sometimes when I'm in a pinch or when I want to make a dish like this, I'll do some canned beans. These are no salted, but I'm gonna mix them anyway. Um, I have some chili powder. This is ancho chili powder. It's nothing else in it. And we're gonna do some lime, some salt, and um, I have some avocados and cilantro, which I'll pull out in a moment. That's going to be kind of like a little topic I'm going to mix with it. All right, so first things first, we're actually going to turn on the heat on here just to get this ready. Let that heat up. I'm going to put, I'm going to let that heat up first. And while that heats up, I'm actually going to do a few things. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our onion and garlic because that's going in first. Do the garlic first. So fresh garlic cloves. If you want, you can buy chopped or minced garlic. Um, just make sure if it's an oil, you drain it a bit. So you don't need that. You're gonna take your knife, put it on top, and you can either smash it or you can use your palm and crush it. That actually helps to separate a little husk and outer portion of the garlic clove. Sometimes smaller cloves actually will get crunched themselves, so that's why I just use a firm press. And then it just makes it easier, as you can see, to peel it. So those came off. I'm actually going to put my oil in now before I start. This is new, so I need to open it first, huh? <laughs> Oops. That went splashing. A little bit of oil just to coat my pan. Right. Put that back on. But I'm actually going to chop this up fine. I would say you want to go for like a fine chop where you can mince it. Your onion. Peel to the side. We're going to turn this down just a moment. 
Now, when you're peeling an onion, just be extra careful. Not just because sometimes onions can make you cry, but just because sometimes you have like a little skin end that's a little hard to chop through, you can discard that. Just like that. And sometimes you have peels, like I said, things like that that are hard to chop up. You can discard them and put them to the side. more. Now I'm just going to use a half an onion. You can do more if you like. I usually do between half to three quarters of an onion, sometimes more than that. You can do that. And sometimes what I will do, and this is a suggestion for you, if you want, you can, if you want to add some more onion flavor to it later on, I also use onion powder. Also. Sometimes I do that. Um, I wouldn't say use it in lieu of fresh, but you can use it in conjunction. You can actually add to it. Take some of this out. All right, and then you put your onion and garlic in. And while that sauteed up, you can do that for about three to five minutes. Do it until the onion itself starts to be a little translucent, lighter in color. And I'm going to leave that. I'm actually going to um, rinse my other main ingredient, that's quinoa. So I'm going to give you just a, a view of something. This is white quinoa. And one of the, my favorite quinoas I like to use is red quinoa. This is red. This is what red quinoa looks like. Usually I would use red in this, but I'm just gonna spice up a little bit and use white. We're gonna rinse the quinoa. Before we do that, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm actually gonna turn this down a bit. This is charring a bit more than I want to. If it gets too much, you can add a little bit more oil, a little bit more. Alright. And what I'm saying is you're going to rinse your quinoa because there's an outer coating on it. Um, it's called saponin. And you rinse it off because that's actually on there. It helps to protect against pests and things of that nature that would threaten it when it's growing. Um, and you want to do that also because it also helps to take off the bitter taste. That's the reason why you rinse it. So you rinse it using a little mesh. So next we're going to put in tomato paste. This is in a can. If you can find it, I'd recommend getting tomato paste in a cube, um, in a cube, in a tube. The reason being that um, it allows you to, if you're using smaller quantities, just squeeze it into, you know, like a measuring spoon or squeeze it into your actual dish. Um, and you don't have to fuss with a can opener. Now, just saying, if you have the option. I couldn't find any for some reason um, in the store. But I'm just gonna fuss with this can opener. I'm probably gonna go electric after this. All right, finally got that open. And this cut off on me, so I'm gonna turn it back on. And. Tomato paste, you're gonna put in your chili powder. Put in quite a bit. Oops. And some cumin. There you go. Now, you notice in the link below, when you get a chance, click on that, click my link in my bio, and you can join my free VIP group. That's where I share some more fun stuff, and also a lot of the ingredients to my recipes. And I will say, this is one of those recipes where you don't necessarily have to follow it to a T. Um, I do have measurements that I give as a guideline, but 
through trial and error, I've learned sometimes I want a little bit more cumin. Sometimes, like I said, I want to add something like an onion powder. Sometimes I want to add more, you know, I want to add some garlic powder, not just fresh garlic. And so this is one of those recipes that really is very forgiving um, and will work towards, you know, like your taste buds. You like a little bit more cumin. And while I cook some of my chili, you grab a cup of water. I'm going to add that to my pan. And we're going to add in the king one. I'm going to stir it up. Go around the edges of your pan. And just gently stir it. And I say gently because if you move aggressively with this, you will have tomato juices all over you. I know from experience. Once it comes to a boil, you want to cover it up. You want to lower the heat. All right, and you will let that go for about 15 to maybe 18 minutes or so. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and let's check on our mixture. Oh yeah, you can actually tell because the quinoa has fluffed up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna take our canned black beans and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually drain them before I put them in. Drain and wash. Okay, so we have our drained and washed black beans. We're gonna put them in like that. And what you're gonna do is you're going to mix it in. And what you can do at this point is just let it sit for a few minutes. Sometimes I let it sit for about five minutes while I'm going to have everything pretty much here that I need. I got my taco shell out. I have my red lettuce leaf. Like I said, you can do one of two things. You can actually use the lettuce leaf as like a salad. Um, use it as a mixing face salad. Um, if you get like a whole leaf, um, these are leaves that are torn up, but if you get like a whole leaf or even a romaine lettuce leaf, you can make that your shell if you want like a, uh, you know, version without it. Or you can do what I'm about to do, which is I'm going to actually break up this lettuce leaf a little bit. All right. I'm going to take some of this mixture. And I'm going to put it into my shell. Look at that. You can see that, but into the shell. I'm going to take some of this avocado, you can call it a blue squawk. Just the avocado cilantro crema. Whatever you call it, just call it delicious because it is. And I'm going to put some of this red lettuce on top. If you want, you can put some like, sometimes I put vegan cheese on it. But sometimes I just want to have like freshness. Look at that. See? I might give it a taste. Mmm. That's so good. The crunch of the shell, the tanginess of the quinoa black bean mixture, the fresh. 
little salty pairing of the guac or crema, little fresh lettuce. That's all you need. So if you've liked this recipe and you found it helpful, please like and also share it with your family and comment and let me know what they thought. Let me know also what have you paired this with? Did you pair it like in a salad? Did you use the taco shell? Maybe you used the flour tortilla? Um, let me know and subscribe to the channel for more recipes like this. And also click the link in my bio if you can join my free VIP group for more insights and more information on my recipes. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and you have a wonderful day.